Hello! In this video, I'll guide you through everything you need to know about converting versus melding your pets. So let's start with melding. When you melt your pets, you gain one star or transfer the stars to another pet. This can be especially handy if you come across a really good aberrant pet that has no stars. So this way you can feed the stars to the aberrant pet. This way you can make rare aberrant really good with a magic one. Or if you find aberrant cat but your other aberrant is better, you can move those stars to the cat. Although remember you cannot transfer traits this way. Although if you do find some pet with a good trait, you can transfer the stars to that one. Now, on the other hand, converting involves putting three pets into the converter and then you will get random pet and the abilities will be based on the pets you have on there. So if you can see here, we have probability of 80% and 40% for some abilities and they will be randomized based on that. Note that the family tree is still based on the three converted pets. So if you have three cats, you should end up with a cat. And if you have three different pets, you should end up with one of them. However, if you have more than two yellow stars, you'll at least get one yellow star on your pet. This means you'll always lose one star when converting you can check this on the converted screen, looking on the right side of the screen, it will show how many yellow or legendary skills you are guaranteed to get. But of course you have the chance to gain more stars through the RNG machine that converting is. So you can basically gamble with one high star rating by converting it with two low ones, if you are feeling lucky. Note that even if you put more than a 1 with, let's say, 3 yellow stars, it does not increase the chances to get any better pets. So I would highly recommend just using 2 bad ones with 1 good one if you want to gamble the good one. And this also means that if you have 1 star in your pet, you will lose that one star and it's it's the same thing as converting zero star pets so as a rare pets you usually have one star already so i would not recommend trying to convert the rare ones and i will talk about more about that later in the video now what does all this mean and which method should you use in most cases we should opt for conversion just Think about it, you only gain one star when melding two pets together, and you don't have chance for an aberrant pet. While converting can give you an aberrant pet with 30% chance and any star or rarity. So if you convert three zero star pets, you can get six out of six. And even if you are using common ones, you can get a rare one instead. Just check out this lucky moment. Although this is not an aberrant, it's still valued at 124k platinum, so I did hit the jackpot on this one. However, I must note that I did lost the lottery four, four times in a row after this, and I even downgraded some rares to magic ones, hence I highly recommend not converting rare ones as if you end the pack with rare one, you'll get a conversion stone that can be used later to maintain the rarity and skills of the good pets when you're trying to make a legendary one with the same stats and abilities. So basically those are just a cheat code to get a cheaper legendaries compared to just trying to get it by RNG. But before you do end back with your rares, you should check if you have traits you would like to use and instead put them on the bond to get the traits and only end back with the ones you want to use as usually magic pets don't have enough stats to actually activate the traits you would like to use. Unless of course if they are the unique one they don't need any stats to activate those ones. So low rare pets might be worth it to enter pact with 
for conversion stones, allowing you to keep your legendary perks on an aberrant pet while you are converting them to get lucky and get even better aberrant pet or just a legendary pet. But for now, I will say it is safe to save those rares for later use. Now, melding on the other hand can be used once you find your perfect pet and make it even better or if you found the legendary skills you want but the rare pet you got is a low star. You might want to melt your worst pet that has more stars and just move those stars to the desired pet. In my opinion, melding might never be worth it for the free to player and even for whales, it might be better to just use conversion stones and convert the legendary pets for better results, cheaper. As when you are melding at that point, you're using pets that are at least worth 50k platinum, sometimes maybe even 100 or maybe even millions of platinum, when it might not be worth it anymore to melt those ones. So, most free to players will gain a lot more by selling these pets than by trying to create the best pets out there with a minor boost. Because, let's face it, if you can get over 100,000 platinum, that's pretty good deal there. Well, at least for the free to players. Or even low spenders. With, of course, the one exception as when you do find the rare legendary aberrant with the traits you want, you now can move those stars to the one you just found that you want to use. But other than that, you probably should not be melding. So in short, melding is super end game mechanic where you make your almost perfect pet even closer to perfection with the skill transfer system helping out where you can move the attributes, but that's gonna be in another video. Conversion, on the other hand, is the RNG machine where you can actually get your aberrant and legendary pets. So please do not melt anything yet and just stick with the conversion. Also, try not to convert rare pets as it will be worth it to save those for the later use. Now, if you did found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. I'm also working on complete pet guide video where I'll do my best to cover everything you need to know about the pets in one simple video. You don't definitely want to miss out on that one. And before I do end this video, I really want to thank you all for the support you've given me just by watching these videos. If you want to do even more, you can just watch the ads on these videos that will help me go full time. And that is literally my dream. And if you do help, that also means that I don't have to shoot down this channel. So thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next one.